almost the end of a month, so I'm going to do a little uh, book haul for y'all. I have some books to share. Most of them are comics and graphic novels that I acquired during free comic book day, which was May 6th this year. Okay, so I guess I forgot to mention this because it was at school when I did my last book haul, but uh, this is Sex Criminals Volume 2. I got this for my birthday and I uh, never hauled it, so here it is. Hello. Uh, I have Volume 1, but right now I don't have it. Um, my roommate has it. Hi, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> Next, we'll go with, yeah, some of the other, we'll just go with all the graphic novels and stuff that I got for a free comic book day. This is my third time going to a free comic book day event. The first time it was during prom, so we just kind of stopped by on our way to prom and took some pictures. It was lots of fun. So we'll start off with the actual free ones. So they're not like, the way that free comic book day works is like the companies will publish specific comics that are going to be designated like free comic. Um, it'll say like on the top free comic book day. This year the place we went to gave us four each. So I picked out I Hate Image. From the cover I'm assuming that it is about the girl from I Hate Fairyland murdering everybody from different Image comics. I don't really know, I haven't looked into it, but uh, I heard that that graphic novel is very interesting and I love Image comics. Then I got the Boom 2017 Summer Blast. This is just a sampler of the different comics that are coming in the summer for Boom. This one is Colorful Monsters from Drawn and Quarterly. It just looked really cute. When I'm doing like the free comics, I like to look at the ones that are just like cute art and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, looks, it's little comic strips for this one. And then I got Bad Machinery. I don't know what this one is, but the cover also looked kind of cute. I don't know, like first impressions, like looking at the art style, it just kind of reminds me of Daria, but I know that it's like not really like that. The expressions on these kids' faces kind of reminds me of Daria. Those are the free comics that I got. They, they were having a sale. I think it might have been 25 or 20% um, off on any other graphic novels that you wanted to pick up. We ended up splitting the cost for the third volume of Sex Criminals, but I do not have that one right now. Then I got One Week in the Library. It seems to be like a collection type thing. I like libraries. I like books. And it looked intriguing. And it's from Image. So like I mentioned before, I love Image Comics, so I'm sure I'll enjoy this one. Then I got Brat Queens Volume 3. I've been meaning to read this forever. I really liked the first two volumes of Rat Queens, and then there's all this controversy about their artist, so they got a new one, um, because the original one is in jail. I heard bad reviews of this one, and I just, I loved Rat Queens too much to, like, read it and soil my, like, original view of it. But, um, this one was already in a discount bin, so it was, like, $10 before it was on sale, too, so I was like, you know what, I think that's a sign, so I'll finally pick it up. I'm excited to read it. I'm nervous to read it too, but I love Rat Queens, so I'm glad to get back into their world even if the drawings are not quite the same and the story might suck. So those were all of the comics that I got. Then I got two books on my Kindle. I'm just gonna hold that up, but it's like dying, so I'm not gonna show them. I bought The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I read this one this month and it was really good, but I bought that back in February because it was one of the Kindle daily deals and it's just, that's how they get me. They get me with their daily deals. The other day I bought Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I still have not read the Grisha trilogy, but I plan on it and I've heard that Six of Crows is better, so do I have to read the Grisha trilogy to read that one? I don't know. Oh, and then I got The Handmaid's Tale, but it was free, so... That was nice because I've been like looking to read that one for a while and I was at the mall yesterday and some gravitational pull uh, drug me into BAM and then before I knew it I was looking at the bargain books as one does and uh, this one was just calling out to me and I was like oh look it's I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I've heard good things about that. Oh would you look at that it's on bargain. And what's this? A $20 bill in my hand? Oh! Take it, cashier. Give me the book. And now I have it. So that's how that happened. Heard excellent things about that book, so that's why I bought it. Kind of angry that it's like this weird cover, like where it's like it has a quote and then like the actual covers on the inside. I don't understand that, but I was like, we'll just not judge it by its cover. We'll just, we'll just judge it for the content inside, which I've heard is excellent. So yeah. 
I bought this one. Overall, I did a pretty good job of not spending my money on books. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you like it. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Goodbye!